An emotional school board meeting in Creve Coeur tonight. A screaming match erupts over $20,000. District 67 spent looking for a new superintendent, only to hire the old one back. HY19's Nick Perot shows us what happened. Motion carried. That was the reaction for most as Jeannie Davis was rehired as the superintendent of Creve Coeur School District for five more years. But that's because the members against the idea had already walked out of the meeting. No executive meeting, Bailey. nothing. I do not want my name associated with you people right now. Excuse at me. The time that I Davis was put on administrative leave indefinitely in March by the old school board, but the reason was never released to the public. She was then brought back as acting superintendent until the district's new hire came on board. But after the district spent $20,000 recruiting the new superintendent, Lane Eberly changed his mind and decided not to take the job. That's how Davis got her job back. I think we've begun to put some systems in place that now we will be able to execute. We have um, plans in place for curriculum, for intervention. And for Creve Core Teacher Union President Stephanie Boyle, she says that Jeannie Davis is the superintendent that this district needs saying they need stability. Having five superintendents in 12 years is too many. It seems as though with all the changes in administration, we'll start in one direction and then a new administrator will come in and then we'll go in a completely different direction. So having an administrator for this length of time will be wonderful. The new contract states Jeannie Davis has been hired and retained as the superintendent of Creve Coeur Schools until 2016. As for the three school board members who are obviously not happy about the vote, Excuse at me. the time, that I Davis says she'll work to get everyone involved on the same page. In Creve Coeur, I'm Nick Pearl reporting.